Lauren, uh, every single dire prediction has come true, and yet the term is only half over. You have a column in the Edmonton Sun called More Pain Coming. I, I think that's the truth. There's no respite for Alberta, and it's already bleak. No, and, you know, I, I keep hearing things from backroom NDP strategists that they don't really think they have much chance of winning re-election in 2019, even if Wildrose and the Tories don't get together. They don't see, uh, you know, a real clear path to victory. And so what they are intent on doing for the last two years of the, this majority government is is inflicting as much damage, they call it making as much change as possible to Alberta, uh, so that their legacy will live on long after they are removed from office. I mean, I, I'm hopeful that whoever it is uh, who leads what I hope will be a united right of center party will make the platform number one, uh, undoing all of the things that the NDP have done. I mean, but we have things coming down the pipe. We've, we've already seen things like the carbon tax and the raise in the minimum wage and huge increases in corporate and personal income taxes. Uh, we've seen all sorts of environmental regulation, the decline in, in investment in oil and gas, and in general, investment decline in Alberta. But what's coming is uh, there's a change to the labor code that's coming. And the unions, because they're not going to get huge increases out of this government for government sector workers, many of whom have contracts that come uh, due in the next year, uh, they're not going to get huge wage increase. They've already been told that. They're going to ask for changes in the labor law that make it easier to unionize and have strikes. So, uh, yeah, there's there's lots more that can be done. I mean, you look at all of the damage they've done in their two years they've been in office. Another two years they can do that much again. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.